The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Andrew Rogers here with head coach Simon Duffy as his team gets ready for the South Atlantic Conference quarterfinals on Saturday against the top-seeded Wingate Bulldogs coach. Uh, quality win to get into the tournament. You knew you had yeah. to get three points uh, on Wednesday against Tusculum. Uh, and had to overcome some early adversity, giving up a first-minute goal. But uh, what were you most pleased with? Uh, obviously, pleased with the scoring effort to score three times, Selena's effort, but for the group to respond uh, in the way they did to be able to continue their season on Wednesday. Just just happy to still be playing. Um, we were going into that game knew, knowing what was at stake. Um, but again, we go over to scout, and it's like, listen, they're very dangerous on set pieces. Don't give away a corner. First minute, we're down one nil from a set piece, so it's kind of poetic justice, really. You're like, oh my gosh. So, but anyway, they clawed it back, did what they had to do, played really well, and again, we knew that Tusculum would be a, a dogged team to play, especially knowing that if they win, they could leapfrog us and finish in eighth. So, a lot at stake, and uh, just I'm glad we we responded how we did. We kept our composure. One one going into the half, and then two wonderful goals second half. We needed one within the first five. We got it. That set the tone for us then, and we went on and, and held out for the win. Yeah. So you get uh, the Wingate Bulldogs, a team you are very familiar with in yeah. postseason play, third time in the last four years. You'll face them uh, either in the quarterfinal round or the semifinal yeah. round. Uh, so you know them well, despite uh, obviously different players having played in those previous meetings. But what makes uh, them so challenging? Why are they always <laughs> seem to be your opponent uh, here recently in the postseason? Yeah, just a good team, well coached, a lot of good players. Um, and I, when we played them here, the, you know, the the result looks a 3-1 result. You'd think, oh, that was an easy win for them. It was far from it. I thought we were we were very good in that game, 1-1 at the half, and then kind of lost our way second half. But I, I think we're very excited. Coaching staff, players, very excited to play them again. So uh, just just thankful to still be playing um, and, and heading down to play them on Saturday. Second year in a row, uh, you go on the road in the quarterfinal round, just the third time uh, that you have coached here and you've had to go on the road. What, yeah. what worked so well last year was a grind of a game. Uh, you had to win the 108th minute with Philly's strike from outside the box. Uh, but what do you think this team learned from last year, having to go on the road in the postseason and to be able to find a way to win? And how can that carry over uh, into this year? Yeah, I can't take credit for that because I, uh, I was out for that game. Um, and the staff here did an absolutely amazing job. The players did an amazing job. So we, we understand how good our conference is. So we just have to understand getting ourselves in is, 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 is the main thing. To, to host would have been wonderful. It wasn't meant to be this year. But if, if anything, we, we learned from last year, you know, it's possible. We just need to go down, play, play to our best, play to our qualities and our strengths. And, and hopefully we come out on top. Of the 21 goals uh, that you guys have conceded this year, 10 of them have come in the first 10 minutes uh, of the first half and the first 10 minutes of the second half. Uh, it, it's weird to say that in soccer, but it, because you talk about basketball, yeah. first five minutes yeah. set the tone, yeah. same with football, yep. first couple possessions. Now it kind of can, can translate over to soccer. So how important yeah. are those starts uh, to the first half, especially because you gave up the early goal uh, last time out, knowing those are critical points uh, and that one goal you give up could be the difference in your season. Look, it's, it's um, statistically speaking, most goals in soccer, it's the first five or last five of a half and immediately after someone scores, whether it's us or whether it's the opponent. So we just needed to do a better job last night. I think we were still finding our way. Obviously, first minute, give away a set piece and uh, just kind of lost a mark and, and they... They did a really good job, and that's what they that's what they kind of set themselves up for. Those long free kicks and corners and set pieces, and again, they're very uh, brave attacking the ball. And um, so we we just need to be a better version of ourselves and understand the importance of not going down a goal before we you know we have to start playing. So um, yeah, just I'm, I'm hoping we hit the ground running on Saturday against a very good Wingate team. They're come regular season champions for the first time in a while. Congratulations to them. But we're, we're definitely not going down there uh, to sightsee. We're going down there for, for uh, it's a business trip. Of course. Uh, we'll end with this. Two, of, or two years ago, you beat them in the regular season. They yep. came here uh, and ended your season. Yep. So how do you flip it since they beat you in the regular season this year and try to 
end their season, even though they're probably going to be uh, in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, we'd, we'd, we'd just love to go down there and return the favour. Mm-hmm. Definitely, they're going to still be playing um, past past Saturday, regardless with how they are in the regional rankings and so on. But we'd love to march on and, and create our own little bit of history and our own bit of uh, momentum going in. All right, Coach, best of luck Appreciate Saturday. It. Thank you. That's the head coach, Simon Duffy. I'm Andrew Rogers on the Eagles Sports Network.